Hello, my Sagittarius. How are you? Welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, and I'm so glad you're here. I'm a fellow fire sign, Leo. Anyway, Sagittarius, let's take a look at your energies mid-month October. If it resonates for you, then it's for you. If it doesn't resonate for you, take a look at your other placements. This will be good for the sign of Sagittarius in the placements of Sun, Moon, and Rising. Take a look at your other placements in the other readings and get a bigger picture look for what's going on for you, Sagittarius. Just take what's yours, what resonates for you, and leave anything that doesn't, okay? Let's just get started. Let's take a look at my Sagittarius and what's going on with them. This is a an update for mid-month October for my Sagittarius. What is going on for them? What's going on for my Sagittarius? What is going on for my Sagittarius? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, guys. Thank you, angels, for my Sagittarius. What is going on for them? Whoa! You got the Hierophant. Taurus energy here. This is, this is your overall energy, it looks like. It was the only card that jumped out. This is what you are being prepared for, it looks like. Sagittarius, this is somebody who is stepping into their power. Somebody who has the keys to the kingdom here. For me, this that's what this means, the keys to the kingdom. This is a number five. You might have gone through some obstacles. You might have had to, this card is all about learning some lessons and kind of up-leveling in your life. And it might have been challenging. It might have had some obstacles. This is a divine destiny card. So that tells me whatever you've been going through, Sagittarius, it's been absolutely divinely guided and part of your destiny. So let's see what else comes out for you, Sagittarius. Wow, this is stepping off in a powerful direction for you. My goodness. This is card can also mean marriage. If some of you are wanting to get married, you could be meeting your life partner soon, Sagittarius, because this, this is a card of commitment. And marriage, even if you don't want to get married, but you want a high level of commitment in a relationship, this can symbolize that. So that could be coming for you. We have another destiny card. Wow, Sagittarius, so far you are starting off with a bang more than any of my other readings so far with all these destiny cards. You've been going through it, Sag. You've been going through some destiny moments, haven't you? This is the hanged man. This is a time of surrender and pause, whatever this is. This could be a relationship because we do have the Hierophant here. This could be you in your life feeling just kind of stuck and you're ready to shift in a new direction. This is you having to take a pause, take a step back, maybe do some healing. Maybe you've been feeling not so well and you had to focus on yourself and have a little bit of healing time. This is a forced surrender. This is you having to surrender and pause and wait for your next steps. Let's see what else. Wow. You got victory here. Oh, that Eight of Swords. Maybe you've been having a little bit of anxiety. We have the Empress. Another destiny card, we have the, this is your energy, your fellow, my energy, my Leo energy. This is a fellow fire sign, but it can be Sagittarius and Aries also. Here is, wow, okay. We have the Four of Pentacles and we have the, the Knight of Pentacles. So let's start with the Knight of Pentacles. So you've been in this pause and surrender time this might be about a relationship, Sagittarius. If it isn't, could be about your money because you have some money cards here. You have the Empress here. And I feel like this could be you having your overall energy being the Hierophant. Maybe you've had to up level into this energy of the Empress. This is an up leveling in energy. This is you completing some life lessons, moving up in your, in your world as as a, just, you know, maturing and completing steps and, and completing lessons and just kind of maturing and up-leveling as a person. 
This is also a card of commitment though. Maybe you've been waiting for your empress. Maybe you are the empress and you had to up level into being this powerful energy. This empress means new beginnings. She's pregnant with possibilities. You have all this new beginning and abundance around you now. Looks like maybe you've had to pause and surrender and wait for something in your life that felt like it was on a stall and now you have this new beginning energy where it's moving forward again and you have victory. You have victory and success. So whatever's been on pause in your life, it's probably got you all in your head about it. Maybe you had to learn some powerful lessons about patience. Maybe you had to learn about surrender and trusting. Trusting the universe, trusting your angels, trusting that your path will, uh, will open up and unfold and good things will come for you. Could have had you in your head. But you have this victory card here. Whether this is your energy right now or what you're stepping into, you have this victory with this uh, Empress New Beginnings and Abundance Energy. And this is a victory. This is you having victory conquering this time of your life that's been challenging. Coming out of that hangman tree and moving forward in a new direction. This is you getting recognition and having success. So that's great news, Sagittarius. This is uh, somebody who could, if this is a, you, if this reading is about your work or your finances, this could be a financial windfall that's come in for you or coming on the way for you because you've really matured. You've up-leveled spiritually. You have come into your own. You're stepping into your power and whatever it is, you're having victory and you could be getting some unexpected money. So that's kind of exciting Sagittarius, if this is a love reading for you, you might have been in this energy of really being in your head about somebody that you were not in communication with because you have this forced surrender. And now this person here, if this is what we're talking about, if this resonates for you as a connection on pause, it, this shows me that this person has been guarding their heart. This person's been taking their time. This person's been holding back their energy and their resources and their time from you, not communicating. But they're moving forward. They're moving forward. They're moving towards you. It may be very slowly. This is earth energy. So is this Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo energy. The good news, though, Sagittarius, is that this person is very, very loyal. This person may be slow moving, but it's because they want to do it right. They want to do everything right. They're not in a hurry. They don't want to just be in a hurry and then have everything blow up. They want to go slow. They want to do everything right, and they want to last. This energy lasts a long time, even maybe a lifetime. This is somebody who is dedicated and loyal, who wants long term. So it looks like you have an offer coming in, Sagittarius, that is going to be long term and stable for you. Whether this is an answer to your prayers and finances, suddenly things are turning, suddenly you're getting recognition, suddenly you're getting uh, rewards for your hard work, and suddenly you have this new opportunity of something really stable coming in for you after you've been in this period of really worried ab about it, it looks like, a period of stall and stagnation. And it uh, looks like you could have a windfall of money coming in for you. If this is a love offer, this is somebody who you can trust. This is somebody who wants a long-term offer, or I'm sorry, a long-term relationship with you. Somebody who wants to go to the go the distance with you with this energy here of marriage or an up leveling in commitment. Let's get a message from your angels. What do your angels want to tell you Sagittarius about this, this reading? What do they want to add? Let's see. Let's see what your angels want to add for you. Honor your feelings Sagittarius. You might be in your feels. What is another quote? Angel, angel message from my Sagittarius. My Sagittarius watching this video right now. 
You have synchronicity. This is good luck. This is the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. This is synchronistic events all coming together like magic. Honor your feelings. Archangel Haniel, she is the archangel that is connected to the moon. She is the archangel that helps us to be connected with our intuition. Surrounding this situation here, uh, Sagittarius, really stay connected to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams. And really listen to the messages that you're being sent in your intuition. You have Archangel Haniel here that that is helping you to honor your feelings and be connected to your your intuition okay it says thank you honey Al, for supporting me as i honor my emotions you may be going through a lot of emotions especially with the recent full moons that we've had they've been very powerful and this is a reminder for you that first of all you're being protected you're being guided you have major archangel angels around you you're going through these destiny moments here and this is all part of your destiny and secondly uh your your feelings are valid your feelings are valid so honor your feelings feel your feelings and then release anything that is you know negative any worry any doubt you have the eight of swords here where you were kind of in your head release anything like that because you have good things coming here the Empress says that you have a lot of abundance coming. You have victory and success coming. You have long-term success coming. And you have this card of synchronicity where this is the wheel of fortune. This is good luck. This is things just kind of falling into place like magic. It says, thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. Definitely pay attention to your intuition and the signs that you're receiving because they are working like magic leading you right into this beautiful victorious finish that you have here now let's get some advice from your angels they gave you a sweet message now let's get some advice what advice do you have for my sagittarius watching this reading right now what advice listen to your intuition how funny that that ties in perfectly it's not funny because it always is right on. <laughs> I love my cards. Listen to your intuition, Sagittarius. Most definitely listen to your intuition. What else do you have for my Sagittarius? Okay, Sagittarius, are you ready for this? You have the yes card. So whatever it is that is on your mind right now that you're wondering about this reading, this Hierophant, whatever you're thinking right now, the answer is yes. You are ready, Sagittarius. You are ready. You have completed some steps, some life set lessons, some up leveling in your life. You've matured. You've completed some tests. You are ready. You are ready for your next adventure. You have help coming. This is also for me the Three of Cups in the Tarot, which is a time of celebration. This is people coming together to celebrate some great news. Could be a reconciliation if this is a relationship or a connection reading. This is people coming together to celebrate your success. And you have that right here. Your success or some good news that has come in for you. You have help if you need it. And you have celebration here in this card. So I'm going to leave it at that, Sagittarius. What an amazing reading that you've had. I think it's been the best one so far. So enjoy and be sure you come back and tell me when all of this comes together for you. Because I want to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. If you want to book a private reading with me, go ahead and check out the description box below. That's where my email is, and you can just email me. We can go from there. And I thank you so much for watching, and I hope that this resonated for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next reading. Okay, Sag? Have a good day.